In terms of a product itself that literally looks at the whole biome, biome and uh, sets priorities for where we need to be doing invasive annual grass management, yeah, this is probably the first look that we've taken at that. So invasive annual grass is a non-native species that have been around since the latter part of the 1800s. And it, it is a little surprising that we're, we're just kind of getting to the point where we now have a biome-wide strategic plan. Uh, but then again, it's not because it's really been the last five years, I would say, that we have had both the technologies in place that allow us to do this, the geospatial technologies, as well as the people that know how to use those technologies to do the appropriate analyses that allow us to select priorities for invasive annual grass management at biome level. So where to work, where not to work. And the way that we looked at that as a group is we broke the biome down into three what we call management paradigms that translate into priorities. And those three paradigms uh, start with maintain. Where are those areas that are largely intact when it comes to annual grasses um, where, that we can least afford to lose? So the areas that are intact, but they're susceptible to annual grasses. And if we do get annual grasses, we're gonna see a decrease in the integrity of those plant communities. Those are our maintained priorities, where we have the most to lose. Um, secondly, we looked at improved priorities. And these are areas that are not as intact as maintained, uh, but they have a growing annual grass problem, but we're likely to be successful with treatment efforts there. Okay, we don't want to put treatment efforts in areas where we're not likely to be successful. They have the biotic resistance and the abiotic resistance that allow them uh, to be in a position to be successful with annual grass treatments. And lastly, with our improved priorities, we want areas where if we can zero out annual grasses, we're going to see a bump in the sagebrush ecological integrity. In other words, a movement towards those core habitats. So maintain, improve, and our third um, priority areas, uh, third management paradigm, if you will, are contain areas. And contain areas are areas that have a serious annual grass problem and are likely to be unresponsive to restorative treatments to the point that we could ever get them to core. And in those areas, we're going to focus on um, main, literally containing the annual grass problem, a lot of herbicide treatments in those areas, and perhaps planting some uh, aggressive non-native perennials uh, to try to boost the biotic integrity of those plant communities.